Hey guys, I'm sort of struggling to fit in frame uh, with what I'm trying to do. So uh, I'm just going to give you a quick explanation and then we'll get a bit closer to the action. So this here, um, you can see it on the little display on my oscilloscope, is a microphone attached to an LM386 and I'm going to be using it as an SPL meter. I'm really uncomfortable here. Uh, and I'm just going to talk about the circuit. I got it online, it's not my own circuit, but I've just plugged it in so we can have a look at what it's doing. Um, so let's get to it. So you can see we've got our microphone here. I don't know if you can really see that. We'll come in a bit closer in a second. Ignore this one. That's the one hertz clock pulse that we were using before. And we've got our oscilloscope. And you can see that it's actually registering my voice as I speak now. So we're at uh, 0.5 volts per division there. So we're getting, what, 1.5 volts in from peak to peak there not peak to peak, rather from uh, peak and trough. So this is, uh, it's working quite well. I'm quite happy with it. We'll see what that looks like in the analog uh, sort of range in the Arduino when I get to that point in the project. Let's have a look at the circuit. So hopefully you can see this a little bit more clearly um, now that I've moved things around. But we've got our electric microphone here. We've got the LM386 just here. We have various capacitors on here serving purposes with the LM386. Um, and we've also got a, oh, actually I've taken out the, there's a 220 microfarad capacitor, which will allow us to have the AC signal coming out rather than the DC bias one, which is the one we're reading at the moment. Uh, let's have a look at the actual schematic. And also I'll let you know where I got it from, because again, I didn't design this circuit. We've got our microphone here taking in uh, voltage over here and it's uh, it's loaded with a, a resistor there. So this is the amplifier circuit that I'm using, using an LM386. Now it's, it's probably not the best circuit to use for something like an SPL meter, but I'm only looking for sort of a plus uh, minus 5 dB range. Um, it's uh, sort of an indicator rather than is an exact measurement tool. Uh, so you'll see that it's all laid out here. I I can't pretend to know uh, all about the LM386. It's not something I've ever really used before. And microphones uh, either, actually. I've, I've never really picked them up and used them. But this is a, a really nice little uh, article to go through. And you'll see that it says we've got the uh, V-out carries AC only voltage and should be used when uh, you've got another piece of audio equipment. And the, uh, the V-out uh, underscore UC is biased to half of the supply voltage. So that's also a good one. It basically means you're not going to get any negative voltages coming out. That means that it's really good for reading on your analog pins. So if you wanted to see what kind of range of audio you're getting in. So if you don't need to listen to the, listen to the sound, then you can use the biased one. If, if you do need to listen to the sound and you need to move the coil on the speaker, then you'll need to use that AC waveform. So it's a very simple schematic, and hopefully it's going to work out for me uh, making this SPL meter. But I'll keep you guys informed as I continue with the project. Next step is to get it connected to an Arduino. This is really weird, like <laughs> leaning up against my oscilloscope. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, and I'll continue this at some point when um, I figured out the rest of the stuff for the SPL meter that I'll be making. Uh, also, if you like the style of these really quick little videos, then please let me know because they're a lot easier to do than setting up loads of different camera angles and sorting out exactly what I'm going to say. Uh, so let me know.